back on the gondola. So this is the city of Vals, Switzerland. There's one badass hotel, which is ours, but quite a nice city. Good people. We paid $70 to hop on this thing. And the lady came back, she's like, no, it's free. We bought a ski pass, but <laughs> you know, we just don't speak German, Italian, Swiss. Every single person here speaks five languages and we speak two. Not bad though. Maybe you watching speak one and you need to learn another one. So here you have a restaurant where they kill the goat right in front of you and they serve it. Sorry, any vegetarians, but that's the truth. got to the two Michelin star restaurant here at 7132. I wonder what this is. Private letter. Okay, so this is a nine course tasting. So I don't know if I'll be showing all of them, but just know we're about to eat. to the third plate which they just told us the menu hasn't even started so three appetizers before the nine course yeah. three snacks and one appetizer I would uh, I would go in the center of the spoon in the center. All right, waking up in this beautiful 7132 hotel. She's already in the bathtub. I went to the gym and then they brought us the breakfast straight to the, to the bed, breakfast in bed. I want you guys to listen how peaceful this is. All you hear is birds, I think a little river. Listen. When you're on a glacier, you have to have some caviar. There you are, once in a lifetime experience. We did come into the helicopter for just a bit. It is a little bit windy and cold. You gotta warm up, but this is just incredible. On the other side, you can see the clouds. I mean, we're above the clouds, I believe about 3000 meters above sea level, drinking champagne in a helicopter.
lot to the outside part. As you guys can see, the water is extremely hot. And of course, outside it's negative, I don't know, 20 degrees maybe. And we have the whole place to ourselves. All right, so my honest opinion of this place is that it's a little bit creepy. Not gonna lie, Melanie and I are a little scared being here by, by ourselves. There's like eight steam rooms that, you know, kind of feels like a concentration camp if I'm honest, but I don't even want to look inside there. This is what I'm talking about, it being a little bit creepy. They have these like mats or something and you open it and it's kind of like a jail cell. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just being very honest. I had such high expectations. And this looks like a jail cell. 